Major League Baseball is updating its drug testing and treatment program. The league announcing it will start testing for opioids, cocaine, fentanyl and synthetic THC. Liza Lucas is at the bridge with a breakdown on what sparked this major change and the social reaction. Sheba, the talk about adding this opioid testing followed the very tragic death of LA Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs. You may remember this was last summer and an autopsy report showed Skaggs had fentanyl and oxycodone in his system when he died. Now up until this point, testing has been limited to performance enhancing substances and banned stimulants and going forward, players who test positive for the updated list of drugs will be referred to a treatment board, but only players who do not cooperate with that treatment plan will be subject to discipline. Now natural marijuana is also being dropped from the list of drugs of abuse and will be treated now as the same as alcohol and this updated policy is going to go into effect when it comes to spring training 2020. So soon a lot of people are going to be watching this and we have seen a lot of praise online when it comes to this conversation and this change coming from MLB. A lot of people applauding the league and the players for agreeing to add this opioid testing. At the same time, I've also seen some comments and some surprise about people not realizing that this wasn't a part of the protocol before. So there is some surprise elements out there for people, but on the whole, a lot of people praising this decision by the league guys. Yeah, absolutely, Liza. I mean, the whole surprise factor for all mm -hmm. of us here on this panel, we were surprised as well. Yeah, I, I like it. And the reason why is because, I mean, they're just trying to prevent, not only prevent, but also if there is a problem, they want to bring awareness to it and they want to help treat it. Yeah, as they well. want to help that's the big, players. That's huge. Yeah. I mean, they, it's it's the entire program. It sounds like it's well-rounded. Um, and again, I didn't even know it was an issue. Yeah, I'm surprised that the drug ep epidemic is just now catching up to Major League Baseball because, I mean, you think about it, these are some young kids with millions of dollars. The temptation is there for them as well mm -hmm. and normally we do talk about oh it's just HDH or steroids mm -hmm. or whatnot mm -hmm. for performance enhancing but no these drugs are out there they're on the streets and I'm glad they're gonna start testing for this because unfortunately it took a tragedy like this young man that pitcher uh, to really get the ball rolling but I'm glad they're doing it yeah. and thoughts on removing marijuana from the drugs of abuse list well I find that very surprising mm -hmm. first step in more of it becoming legalized once that is happening especially for sports for sports yeah right, right across the board now it's not the case in other it's leagues like yeah. that I know of. No. I don't know about hockey. I do know in NBA and the NFL, yeah. you mm -hmm. can't do it. Yeah. But for baseball to approve it, mm, or at least take it from, move it from the list. Yeah. It's like mm. they're decriminalizing it. Yeah. 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 Snowball effect could occur. Join this conversation, folks, on the Morning Rush group right now. Facebook, to be exact. You can chit-chat about all of the daily talkers, of course, and interact with myself and Sheba, Chesley, and Crash. Just join it or ask to request, request to come into the group by typing in Morning Rush ATL on Facebook. Time now 638. Let's get into in other news.